will be required to be vaccinated. The city says right now, 6% of workers who fall under that mandate are still unvaccinated. Vaccination status is fast becoming, as you can tell by just listening to the news, basically unavoidable. It's a growing number of companies announced they will fire employees for refusing to get the shot. NBC7's Amber Freya spoke to an employment lawyer about what that means for workers who will not comply. A San Diego lawyer I spoke to tells me she's been very busy in recent weeks answering calls from employers trying to enforce new vaccine mandates in the workplace. As more businesses move forward with vaccine requirements, employees refusing to get the shot are getting the ax. Just over the last couple of months, we've seen a lot more employers decide that it's really time to try to protect their employees and the people they come in contact with by requiring vaccines. Kaiser Permanente, one of the largest nonprofit health systems in the U.S., suspended over 2,000 staffers this week for not complying with the company's vaccine mandate. According to the healthcare giant, more than 92% of its staff is fully vaccinated and the number of holdouts is declining daily. But those who remain unvaccinated have only until December 1st to get the shot in order to be able to return to work. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission and other agencies have said that it is legal to require vaccines. San Diego employment lawyer Arlene Yang says there are exemptions to the mandate. There are certain accommodations you have to provide if there's a medical reason why someone couldn't be vaccinated or if there's a sincerely held religious belief. But even then, Yang says religious exemptions might be hard to come by. Employers have to can look, ask for documentation or get more information to understand why an employee thinks that they have a religious reason not to be vaccinated. And the issue may soon get even bigger. According to a survey published last month by consulting firm Gardner, about 46% of organizations plan to institute a vaccine mandate. It seems like we're just going to see more and more of these requirements, especially in California, which has been really um, a leader in health and safety. For many workers, it's time to choose between getting a shot or losing their job. Amber Freas, NBC7.